My entire year was killed inside the radiation inside the radiated zone. Um, I want you to kill the damn mutant. Oh god darn it! <laughs> it's just there. What's up, my hungry friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Seven Days to Die single player starvation mod let's play last video we went into the radiation zone and got some really really sick gear uh if you guys missed that video you should definitely go check it out we killed a bunch of bosses we found the very edge of the radiation zone it was pretty freaking cool all right um you guys gave me some tips on last video i'm sure you did but um please keep in mind that i did these videos back to back so i did not see your tips yet but i am definitely going to check them out and i look forward to them uh this video first things first thing we're going to do is we're in a little bit of a hurry here because it's almost nighttime. We're going to go out to this military outpost and we are going to talk to that soldier. For those of you who remember that episode when I went and got uh, iodine, it was in the it was in the snow barrel, remember over here? And uh, there was a soldier and it was it was an it was a human soldier. He wasn't a zombie and he was like he was laying down. I'm like, "What's going on? Why is this guy laying down? It was like, kind of weird, right?" So, apparently he was laying down because he was sleeping because it was the middle of the night. Now, we can get a quest from that guy, so that's what we're going to do. Um, some people have been asking me to do more quests. I agree. Let's do some more quests. We're also going to work on health kits, get all the airdrops that are on the map, and if there's anything left, if we have time after that, we will do some building. If you end up enjoying this video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, oh boy, I can't wait to see your guys' tips on that last episode because I'm really curious on, like, how the rad zone. I want to get back to the rad zone, believe it or not. I'm kind of addicted. I kind of want to... I want to make an outpost in the rad zone. I want to make a real deal, like, serious outpost in the rad zone. Now, you're going to... I mean, I, I don't know where... I can't make it in the red part of the rad zone. I know that. And is there any way that... I, I don't know why I'm asking. You guys probably already told me this, but I'm going to read your comments about if there's any way to avoid taking damage in that super rad zone part. I don't know what to call it. I'll call it super rad zone. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is going to be the spot. I think I ever. I think I still have some. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let's go check this guy out. Oh, looks like we've got some zombies here. I'm gonna actually ignore the zombies for now. Uh, I'm on a mission here. I'm on a mission. Actually, where was this guy? He was over here. I thought. Actually, that might have been him. That might have been him. I thought it was a zombie. It wasn't a zombie. It was just him. <laughs> I ran right by him. Okay. So, uh, here we go. And uh, hello. Are you alone? My entire year was killed inside the radiation in Inside the radiated zone. Um, I want you to kill the damn mutant. Oh, god darn it. <laughs> it's just there. Um, I'll make it worth your while. Go on. Show me what you got. All right. And here's the quest right here. Military aid. We need to kill a rad boss, a rad boss, and a gray rad boss. So I'm not sure what those guys are. I'm not sure if I've already killed them before, but I hope I have. That would be nice. And let's go ahead and toggle active, just so we have to think about. I, you know what, guys? We're going back to the ra we're going back to the raid zone a lot, a lot um quicker than we thought. Uh, it's not going to be this video, but it's going to be probably next video. It's probably going to be next video, and I'm probably not going to be building up any kind of base over there either i just want to go in there and get this quest done um apparently you have to do this quest in order to mount to set up the actually you need to do this quest to get the screwdriver uh like the military screwdriver or something like that and that's going to allow us to uh deal with a lot of items in the game um one thing i know i i'm pretty sure i got this right but i'm not 100 percent sure uh apparently the basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get the mounted machine gun which is the browning and i have the tripods i have almost all the pieces i don't know if i have all the pieces but i've got quite a bit of the pieces and i've almost got the whole browning but i think and i don't know for sure but i think that you need the the screwdriver to to put mount the gun onto the tripod uh, that's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm um, thinking that's about it. Uh, I also think what we're going to do is, do we have room on this? We do have room in here. Not a ton of room, but let's just get all these airdrops. I've had it. Let's, and, you know, we're going to be getting these airdrops during the night, but I don't really care. Um, we're going we're gonna to go around and get all these airdrops, guys. There's like, I think there's like five of them, maybe. So let's start. Let's do that today. Okay, this is one. And that's nice. Um, nice 600 <laughs> uh, sniper rifle. I like it. Let's use this right now. Yeah, we got to make some med kits when we get home for sure. All right, because, uh, man, the, just getting killed on the med kits. All right, this airdrop is now removed. And let's take a look at the next one. We'll go out here. 
Um, actually, do I want to? Yeah, let's let's go out there and get that one next. Okay, we've got another one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink really quick while we open this one up. All right, looking good, looking good. You know what? It's worth it just to get the um. It's worth it with these airdrops just to get the just to get the med kits, right? I mean, and I'm gonna and my sniper rifle is never gonna be like less than 600. All right, so let's uh, remove that waypoint and let's find the next one. That's number two, by the way. All right, and there we go, one right there. Okay, here we are. Uh, what is this number three? Yep, I think it's number three. We'll read that. This is not a great one, but um, that's okay. We're clearing them out. Oh boy, this one's on the side of a cliff. I'd really like to be quiet here. I don't want to shoot this uh, this cougar. All right, yeah, it's not bad. I think we we'll use some. Uh, I think next time we go back to the radiated zone, we're definitely going to use some sniper rifles. How about that? Has that's? I mean, I'm not sorry, not sniper rifles. I think next time we go back to radiation zone, we will definitely be using some rocket launchers. I think that could be pretty cool. Oh, man, I have to pause the video all the time for coughing fits. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. I'm trying to get tomorrow off, but my boss is like, I don't know. It's like, mm. okay, fine. All right, uh, that's good right there. All right, what do I also want to do in here? Health kits. Let's work on some health kits. First of all, I need to see if I have a uh, blood draw kit. That's what I really need to see. Let's see, if we have a, let's see if we have a blood draw kit anywhere. Oh, man, I'm not feeling too good. Feeling kind of dizzy here. Oh, I'm get a blood loss debuff. You are weak from the blood loss. So I did find my blood draw kit, and I'm just using it and kind of sitting here, getting the uh, getting the the health bonus of being on the bed. Um, you do get a health bonus with the sleeping bag effect, so that's pretty nice. And I'm using painkillers and drinking, but I have the blood. I have that blood loss thing. I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't want to mess around with that too much. So, and getting your hit points up doesn't seem to help. So I think that's a way they can make it so you can't spam blood bags, I guess. I'm going to do it anyway. See if the blood loss is any more. No, it's still where it is. Okay. I think we're okay now. Okay. Found all my duct tape and my glue. I uh, went ahead and made, I had about 40 glows, glue, so I'm going to turn half of that into duct tape. I'll end up having 40 duct tape when it's all said and done. I don't have a lot of bones here, but I think most of my bones are probably at the horde base. Oh, uh, and I also lost some wellness because of this uh, blood loss thing. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, I don't know if I really care. I probably don't need to be... I probably don't need to be doing too much more with the blood blood draw kits. Uh, because I do have some blood lying around here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I have some blood in here really quickly. I hate going through my stuff on camera because I usually miss what I'm looking for. And you guys see it and it frustrates the hell out of you and it makes me sad. So, but I'm not seeing any blood here at all. I don't think we have any. Let's come down here and check the health chest and see what we got here. And uh, we got a few here. Okay, so we got seven. Seven more. You see, I keep losing. And I'm losing weird amounts of wellness now. So that's really odd. Uh, <laughs> it's really weird. So in order to make the uh, health kits, you need to come on over here. Maybe some juice. Let me get some juice. You know what? I'm going to get some tomato juice, some V8. Some, uh, it's good for what ails you, and, uh, see if that helps. So let's drink that. Is that gonna help the blood loss? Does not seem to be doing anything for the blood loss. I don't know what you could do to get rid of the blood loss. Doesn't really say much here. So, you gotta keep an eye on that. I wanna keep draining blood, but that blood loss thing is a real problem. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? I could, I could, I could sacrifice a little wellness. It's not the end of the world. Just gonna go ahead and do that, and then take... I wanna make ten... There we go. So let's see what that blood loss is at now. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I just drank some tomato juice, man. Yeah, I. Oh, maybe I should make some cookies. That's what they give you at the at the, you know, when you give blood. So, okay. So we need some bandages, and that's all we need. So let's go ahead and make some bandages right now. Oh, I don't know how many we're gonna need. I think I have a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh, 36, huh? How many does it take for each one? Uh, oh, two. Okay. All right, why don't you go ahead and make uh, 30. 30 bandages. It's fine. I got plenty of cloth. I got plenty of cloth. Do I have anything in this fire? I do not. Nothing. Okay, so this stuff's all still empty. I might have some more... Uh, no, I got leather over here. I mean, it's really easy to get cloth. I could always get some more cloth if I need to. It's not the end of the world. All right. Oh, you know what? I need something. Wait, why can't I make this? 
Because there's no fire in there? Yeah, that's because no fire in there. All right, fair enough. There will be some fire in there. And there we go. Ten health kits coming up. You might be wondering why I'm walking around with a bunch of bullet tips in my inventory. I, I actually need to I need to craft some bullets at the end of the video. Basically what I do is when I craft bullets, I come on over here and I just set them up and then I just go make a sandwich or something <laughs> and just wait for them to craft up. I'm also sure I'm not sure what I want to craft up. I think I'm just gonna keep crafting up the 762. Uh, I do know that I can use Magnum rounds with the UMP, but I don't think the UMP is going to be that good. Uh, it just sounds like, I mean, it sounds like a close quarters weapon, but I already had that, the MG4. But in the, in the, in the spirit of making the Horde Knights cooler, then I need to use different items. Uh, that's what someone said in the comments and they're totally right. So yeah, I'll probably make some, I'll probably make some ammo for, I want to use a different, a different, a bunch of different guns for the next Horde, Horde Knight. So all right, so uh, health items, there we go. So let's take stock of our health chest. Our health chest is looking relatively healthy. I think I'm going to save the first aid kits for the radiated zone. And I think what I'm going to do is let's go check out the farm. You guys have not seen the farm in a while. Um, I'm not going to overdo the farm, but, you know, I do think you guys do want to see it sometimes, right? So let's go check out the farm. And then I'll probably do some building to uh, round off the episode. All right, this building, this this building is actually starting to get pretty well uh, fortified. Once I get it fortified, I can start running the forges all the time. Um, okay, so stamina is a problem because of the blood loss. Um, the blood loss. The only thing I see the blood loss doing is um, with the stamina and the wellness. That's that's all I really see it doing. Um, you know, whatever. It's oh, this freaking zombies broke out my damn thing here. Can I jump up here? No. Hold on. Let me let me try this. There we go. No? Nope. <laughs> ah! Punk ass zombies. What are, you guys, what are you guys attacking a hatch for, man? There's nothing there. There's nothing there. I'm sick. I'm sick. Can't you give me a break? Oh, goodness. There we go. Alright, no fuss, no muss. Oh, coughing fit. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, here we are. Uh, do we have any... Nah. She's not gonna, she's not gonna get blood loss from us. Oh, she's not... She didn't plant any of the, uh, the corn seeds. And she just went to sleep. What's with, what's this lady's problem? Plant the damn corn seeds, lady. Alright, do I have any more blueberries in here? I don't think I do. The thing is, I need blueberries to make the... To make the camo stuff in order to make the, the guard. And I really want to make a guard tomorrow. Uh, I only need two blueberries. Let me, let me plant the other two. Mm, I thought I had more blueberries now. I don't know what happened to them. Alright, so let's just do this. We'll save two. What else do we need for that camo? Camo. What else do you need for the camouflage dye? Alright, so easy, 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 easy. I got all the rest of the stuff. The blueberry is the hardest part. Ah, tough. Wait, did I just get two seeds from two blueberry? I thought you get... Eh, whatever. Sounds about right, I guess. Alright, so let's plant those. Get some more blueberries. Uh, there's nothing else going on here, apparently. Um... Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a look. Chrysanthemums are fine. She's got... She doesn't have a lot of food in here that she'll eat. I don't know why she won't eat all this food, but she needs to have either cornbread or certain kinds of food. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the aloe... We're gonna plant the aloe vera seeds ourselves. And... We, I only have four aloe vera seeds? What do I do with the rest of my aloe vera seeds? I think I planted them. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I don't like doing far- Yeah, I planted them. They're all right here. I don't like doing farming on camera because, I don't know. It's just, it's all a lot of, uh, ooh, did I plant these seeds? Oh, I gotta plant those seeds. It's like, who cares? You know, but I do want to show you guys sometimes here and there. I don't want to just make it a completely, uh, a thing I don't go to at all. All right, so we do have the blueberries, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of our uh, grain alcohol into the refrigerator. And this is basically what I do at night, guys, when I cut out a lot of this stuff. This is basically what I'm doing now. Just running back and forth, checking out the farm, checking out this, checking out that. Is there something I can do for blood loss, guys? Let me know in the comments. I, I mean, if drinking tomato juice isn't helping blood loss, I don't know what else to do. Because I would think that would be the thing you'd, you'd need to do to, to fight blood loss. But uh, I don't know. If there's something else I could do, that'd be great. Because I, I want to have those health kits. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check out what was in this thing. That's right. I got some stuff in here. Nothing... Too crazy. Well, now the browning thing. Yeah, okay. All right, I need to I need to come to this chest and organize this chest as well. I think next I think next time we I think we're going to the uh, rad zone probably tomorrow. <laughs> Screw it. You know, let's just go again. Who cares? You know, guys, I was just thinking about my farm. Um, 
I don't think my farm's good enough. I think I really need to open it up more. Uh, and like, see, I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I want to make a farm on the ground. I don't know exactly how the rats work, but I think if you make a farm on the ground, you're probably going to get rats no matter what you do. Uh, although I don't really know the way it works. So I'm thinking about, uh, I'm thinking about making a second farm and I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. I kind of want it to be in here, probably off the floor. Uh, I don't want to put it on the roof though. Um, I think what I might do is, here, let me upgrade these really quick while I talk to you about this. Okay. Can you hear me losing my voice, by the way? Oh, man. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is this whole thing's going to come down eventually. I'll probably do that pretty soon. And then what I think I'll do is maybe I'll expand this little, like, walkway here, and I'll make the farm right here. Maybe I'll even have it go up a couple steps, make the farm a little bit higher off the ground. I don't want to have to deal with rats. Um, but if you make your farm inside your base, you might have to deal with rats. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. Uh, what's you guys' experience with farms and the rats? Because I really don't want to deal with rats, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I also want... I don't want my second farm to be, like, out in the middle. Like, I don't want to make another farm outside. Although, I guess I could. I could take the roof off a couple of these buildings. Maybe make a farm over there. Um, it is nice not to, have the rats, not to have the rats in your building. That's a really good idea. I could make a walkway going over to the farm as well. So that way I could visit the farm. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I think I'll do that. Uh, I don't want the... I don't want the rats in my in my base. I don't want the rats in my base. It's gross. It's just gross. Right? I mean, am I right? I'm, I'm not overreacting, right? Like, you don't want the freaking rats running around your base. And next thing you know, you get bit in your leg and you get a pus, pus boil in your leg. And next thing you know, you got the freaking bubonic plague. It's back. You know, I mean, that, that killed like a quarter of the population in Europe. I don't need that here. Kill a quarter of the population here. You know, I'm probably done. I'm done for. You know? So, yeah. I don't think I want to deal with the rats. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a walkway going over to the, the Shamway Foods. Maybe I'll expand that farm. Possibly even put a farmer on the other side. That might be a good idea. Put another farmer on the other side than just have that one farm. It's not a bad idea. Because, like, I need the corn. I need a lot of corn. Okay? And not only do I need a lot of corn, but I need a lot of other things as well that... You know, I can't stop doing corn, but I really need I really need to get aloe because I wanna get I wanna get bandages going, you know. I wanna go back to the if I wanna go back to the radiated zone, I need health items, you know? And um, I can't I can't use the blood draw kit that much, obviously actually. Um, I should have the blood draw kit on me at all times. Here, let's let's quickly do this. And then we're gonna go back and get that blood draw kit. And anytime I'm not I don't have blood loss, I'm just gonna keep taking the blood draw kit. I mean, I hate losing the wellness, but you know, eh. It's it's worth in the long run. Wellness is wellness is not that hard to get. I haven't even been really drinking goldenrod yet. I could really start. That's another thing though. I need to I need the farmer to get get with the goldenrod. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need to really expand that farm. Are you guys interested? I hope you guys are interested in seeing me expand the farm because it's not something I'm going to do off camera. So I've had some uh, people lament my farming and the amount of farming I do, but it's it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You got to get that stuff done. You know, so uh, you can't just say, oh, I don't want to farm, but I don't know. It's, it's a really big deal. I was watching Game Edge play and he's starting to, where did I put that blood draw kit? Oh, that's weird. Oh, you know what? I probably put it in the drop off chest. I was watching Game Edge play and he's like, he's, he's realizing at this point the farm, you know, he's going to need to farm and he's not, not happy about it. <laughs> so... Okay, I go through a lot of water, man, and not just because of the pills. You gotta understand, every time I make, every time I have uh, that lady make, uh, uh, what do you call it, boiled eggs or cornbread, that's one bottle of water gone. So it's kind of a big deal. All right, we got the blood loss again, so we'll hold off on that for a little bit. I don't want to get too much blood loss. I did go ahead and uh, drink. I don't know. I think I did it in between videos. I went ahead and drank, or in between cuts, I went ahead and drank some uh, some what you what you it's some uh, <laughs> some grain alcohol. So stamina will not be a problem. But the problem is, grain alcohol is another thing that lowers your your wellness. So I'm really taking a hit on my wellness at this point. Yeah, we got to get that farm going because in order for me to get my wellness, my wellness back, I'm going to need that farm in full effect. I actually love that the farm is is so intricate to this mod because I like farming in these games. You know, there's like the thing I like about these games is you you build up 
and what and as you're building up you get stronger and things get better and nothing says that more than a farm i mean think about it you know like you know you you, you start with nothing you start a couple seeds and you start building it up and then uh next thing you know you got a you got a bunch of food and everything and that's uh that's wonderful yeah i really i really like that i really like the farming i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bore you guys to death with it though i'll show you the building of the farming I'll show you the maintaining every once in a while, but you're not going to see a lot of the maintaining. Um, honestly, there's nothing to it. You just go over there, you pick a couple crops, you put a couple down. Not really a big deal, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, so I think the next step is to get a walkway over there, and then to put a farmer on the opposite side of the shamway that the I have the original farmer on. And uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. But that's not going to be next video. Next video, unless something really crazy comes up, Next video, I'm going back to the radiation zone. I love the radiation zone, man. That is legit. And I might have seemed a little bit, I don't know. I might have seemed a little off last video, but believe me, I was excited. I was really excited. I'm just, you know, I'm just under the weather. And um, I was debating if you making the videos, but I think they're coming out pretty good. I think you guys are going to like them. And it's better to it's better to make a video and uh, really try hard to make it good than just say, ah, I'm sick. I can't make it. No, that, that ain't going to work for me. Plus, I got stuff to do, man. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get some stuff built here, you know? I mean, Alpha 16's gonna come out pretty soon, so we gotta get some stuff done. Gotta get some stuff done. Definitely gotta go back to Radiant. So what is a rad boss? Does that mean any boss? The boss I killed, uh, you know, last video, was that considered a rad boss? And what's a gray rad boss? You know? Was that the... I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what they are. We're just gonna go kill everything and uh, <laughs> see, how it, see how it shakes out, you know? All right, so that's good. There we go. I really need to go farm some more iron as well. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Let me do that tomorrow. Go hit some boulders. I usually go hit some boulders for like a couple hours in, in the game to end game time, not real time. You know, uh, probably probably go hit boulders for like a half hour. Come back with like 500 iron, bunch of other little stuff. You know, it gets stuff done. I just don't. You know, I haven't had time to go really dedicate for a really long boulder hunt. I gotta do it on stream. Maybe I'll do it this Friday. You know what? Eh, maybe. Maybe. I'm put the problem is it's hard to do it on stream because I've been doing a lot of sub-server. So, it's hard to find time for that. This is, uh, this game's a harsh, a harsh mistress. It is, uh, it dedicates your full attention, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's why I like it. That's why I, part of the reason I love this game. Okay. Construction levels up. This wall is almost done. Alright guys, I don't know how long this video has been going because I got a little mixed up with my timer. But I think this would be a good time to call it. We're almost done with the wall around the entire base. Once that happens, we can start running those forges at will. And that will be really awesome. And then uh, we still want to TNT this ground and replace it with some stuff. I got some ideas for some, for some builds in here. You know, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this now. Um, I will read your comments from last video. Uh, sorry about making two in a row. I try not to do that. And uh, we're going back to the rad zone, guys. So get hyped for that. I'll, all right, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.